Hey guys, I'm going to mix it up a little bit today. Um, I'm going to take a break from Blu-rays and go on with part of my DVD collection. Um, a lot of these I have on DVD have either uh, have Blu-rays that I haven't purchased yet or I'm still waiting for a Blu-ray release. So uh, if, I, if, if I come across one that doesn't have a Blu-ray, I'll definitely let you guys know which ones deserve Blu-rays and which don't. Uh, so first up here... I have uh, the DVDs of uh, Stephen King's Castle Rock uh, Season 1 and Season 2. I haven't watched those yet. I heard Season 1 is far superior than Season 2, but to each their own. Uh, we have an 8-movie uh, pack here. Uh, some of these I do have on Blu-ray, but some of them I do not. So... Uh, let's see, we got Waxwork, I have that on the Vestron uh, double feature of the, with part 2. 976 Evil 2, I don't believe there's a Blu-ray, at least not in the U.S. Ghoulies 3, I, there's a uh, an import version of that. The Unholy, I haven't come across yet. Chud 2, I have on Vestron. Uh, Class of 99, I have on Vestron. Slaughter High, I have on Vestron. And Choppy Mall, I have on Vestron, so um, I'm still waiting for these two, and I gotta find the Unholy. Uh, we've got an Alien movie here called Thirst. Uh, I've watched it a couple of times. It's not a bad flick. It's a lot of CGI though, so uh, again, I've seen it like twice. It's okay. This is an early 2000s uh, comedy that does not have a Blu-ray that I know quite a few of you want to see it on Blu-ray. I definitely do. This is a New Line release from 2001. It is Sugar and Spice. This is a really, really quirky, like, dark comedy. Uh, you've got uh, James Marsden in here, Mina Savari, Melissa George. Marla Sokoloff, Marley Shelton, and Rachel Blanchard. This is a fun flick. If you guys have never seen it, I definitely recommend it. And it's in a snappa. And I think the discard was, yeah, the discard was pretty cool too. So definitely, uh, definitely waiting to get this for on the Blu-ray. Uh, I got some more wild eye goodness, but this one, this one I actually had fun with. Um, I gotta go back and watch it again, but it's got a bunch of, it's got uh, Michael Berryman, uh, Adrian Barbeau. That's the only two names I recognize. It's uh, Hell's Kitty. This is a fun one, believe it or not. I know wild eye, great covers, terrible movies, but this one's this one's fun. Uh, this movie here is always portrayed as a as a horror, but it's actually like a more of a dark comedy. Uh, my copy's seen better days as far as the disc art goes or the artwork goes, but it's Funland. Uh, it, it's 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 fun. It's a fun dark comedy from uh, what year is this from? Does it? It says two thousand four, but it's definitely older than that. It's just when the disc was put out. Uh, anyway, I definitely recommend this one. Uh, if you like, it's basically this uh, this amusement park is taken over by uh, a family who forcibly who forcibly buy the deceased owner's shares after bumping the owner off. They so they kill him and then they take over his amusement park. They only care about profit margin, cutting costs, and whatnot. Uh, the, uh, the park's, uh, accountant, who's also a clown, um, plots revenge against the owner, the, the new owners, and, yeah, it just goes from there. Uh, fun, fun, fun movie. Recommend that one, guys. Uh, this is another, this is a fun, uh, end-of-the-world kind of movie here. Uh, I don't, 
remember if it has the blue right here or not. I know Funland does not. This one, I don't think it does, but let me know in the comments below if I'm wrong. Uh, this is a movie from 2007 called End of the Line. Definitely recommend giving this one a watch. Definitely. Uh, here's a fun Easter horror film here. Now, I've met the director on this movie. Or the, no, the, no, sorry. I met the producer, uh, Jason Delgado, at a convention years ago. Uh, this is one of Robert Zarr's last films. It also stars Ari Lehman, uh, called Easter Sunday. Uh, and it's, 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 it's fun. Uh, it's not the best movie in the world, but it is definitely a fun watch from, uh, Camp Motion Pictures. Um, again, it's fun, but it's not great. Alright, we got a lot more to go here. Uh, so this movie is called Deadly Dreams. It, it's portrayed to be a slasher film but it's really not it's more of a psychological horror uh from 1988 and it's it's a fun watch but just gotta let you know it's not a slasher uh i don't recognize any of the cast members though by name i'm sure i've seen this once i, I thought it was okay but uh if you guys want to give it a watch go right ahead all right, next up is a controversial film. I'm sure everybody knows the story about Victor Selva. Everyone knows he did time. I I just wanna leave it at that. I know what he did was sick and I don't wanna go into it, but this is a fun movie. As long as you don't, as long as you don't look into the backstory of it. Uh, we got Clown House here from 1990. Uh, Starring Sam, Sam Rockwell is in this film, believe it or not. Yeah. Uh, it's basically a killer clown movie. Uh, definitely, definitely fun. Um, I don't think I have this on Blu-ray yet. Maybe I do. I don't remember. But this is the old MGM DVD release of uh, Biodome from 1996 starring Polly Shore, Stephen Baldwin, William Atherton, and Joy Adams and uh, Kylie, I can never say her last name Manoog, Manugwa, Manoog, the, the, the British, she's British right, British singer um, it's been a long time since I've seen this film but it's it's about Earth Day <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, I remember it being a fun movie, though. I don't know, a lot of people don't really care for Polly Shore, but I, I thought he was funny. Uh, next up is a independent horror film from 2015. Now, I know the first time I watched it, I, I the idea is cool, but it, they, it could have gotten, they could have gone in, like, better detail of everything, especially the family involved in this movie. Uh, but it is called Eaters. Basically, everybody in the, the family looks like a, uh, I guess, uh, like a scarecrow type thing. But uh, it's a fun movie. Um, the end, the ending definitely, like, it's like a, there, there might be a sequel, but there never was a sequel made, at least as far as I know. Um... And it's basically a cannibal movie, uh, but I, I recommend it. Um, it's a little short though. It's 90 minutes, but it seems shorter than that when you watch it. Up next is a classic from my childhood, as opposed to probably many others. Um, it took a long time for Disney to put this out on DVD, but it is DuckTales the movie, Treasure of the Lost Lamp. I had the VHS of this back in the day, and I would watch it maybe once a day for, like, weeks on end. Uh, it's definitely a fun movie. You, know, you got Uncle Scrooge, you got Huey, Dewey, Luby, and Webby. Yeah, 
they go to Egypt and they find uh, a magic lamp and they get, you know, they find treasure and whatnot. It's a fun movie. Uh, we've got Drive Through featuring Horny the Clown. <laughs> Uh, I watched this you know, sometime last year for like the fourth time. It's it's a fun movie, but it's uh, <laughs> I'll say it's a horror comedy, but it, it's fun. It's a fun movie. Uh, up next is a movie that I have on. I do have this on Blu-ray as well, but I got this first. I got this from one of the stars in the movie, and she's also been a longtime friend on Instagram. Uh, it is uh, door one of the five doors to hell. Uh, it's a fun, it's a fun horror anthology. Uh, definitely low budget, but I definitely enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, my friend Blaine is in this film. She's awesome. Check her out. Um, yeah, it's 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 definitely a fun movie. This is this is the this is the very first pressing of the movie. So I'm definitely gonna hold on to it. Uh, we got a very short-lived TV series here. Uh, some people have probably forgotten about it already, but I'm glad I have it in my collection. This is uh, Dad's The Complete Series, uh, starring uh, Seth Green, uh, Giovanni Ribisi, uh, Peter Reiger, and Martin Mull. Uh, it, it's definitely a fun movie. Or, sorry, fun series, rather. I think it only lasted one, yeah, one season. But it was fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, it's also, this also stars uh, Brenda Song and Tonita Castro. Uh, I guess, like, yeah. This is, a, this is put out by Olive Films. I didn't know that. I bought this at Walmart a long time ago. But yeah, it's just, it's just two discs. Two discs, so. So. Uh, it was on Fox for a very short time, but this is from uh, Seth MacFarlane, Alex Sulkin, and Wesley Wilde, uh, Family Guy writers. So, if you guys like Family Guy, you might enjoy that. Alright, next little stack here. Um, we're still waiting on a Blu ray release for Candyman 3 Day of the Dead. This is the old Artisan Films release. Case has seen better days, but I bought this. I think I bought this at McKay's a while back. But yeah, I like that disc art. I definitely like that artwork. So hopefully, hopefully Arrow will, 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 Arrow will release part three because I know they did one and two. So fingers crossed for part three. Um, I'm gonna probably get rid of this DVD now that I have a box set of uh, Herschel. Gordon Lewis's films, but this is the something weird version of Blood Feast. Uh, it's definitely a really gory film, especially for its time. Uh, what is this? The sixties, early sixties or seventies. Uh, it has Roman numerals, and I, I forget how to read Roman numerals. So. Uh, Uh, we have an out of print of uh, Kingdom Hospital, Stephen King series, uh, two uh, four disc set. Uh, and then going with that, we have <coughs> Rose Red, uh, another uh, two disc set. Uh, I remember both of these being on TV. Uh, was this early 2000? 2001 for Rose Red and 2004 for Kingdom Hospital. Uh, here's another fun movie that a lot of people either... I, I watched it and I was like, what the F am I watching? But this is an out of print movie. I, I, I don't remember if it has a Blu-ray or not. I know they re-released it on DVD again. Because that's the as a two disc set. This is just the one one disc version. But it is uh <clears throat> boarding house from uh nineteen eighty two, I wanna 
want to say? I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah, 82. It's definitely a what what the f kind of movie. If you guys are interested, it's uh, it's it's out there for sure. Speaking speaking of out there, there's another out there movie. This is the, the 1989 film from Andrew Jordan called Things. Yeah, this is uh, this is definitely one of those bizarre films of the. Shot on video, 80s goodness. Uh, this, this is from Barry J. Gillis. I believe he's Canadian, I want to say. I might be wrong on that one, guys. But uh, it's definitely one of those bizarre films of the, of the late 80s, for sure. Speaking of bizarre... I remember when this came out in the early 90s, uh, around the time uh, Teenage Ninja Turtles 2 Secret of, the, Secret of the Ooze came out. This is Surf Ninjas, uh, starring Leslie Nielsen, Robert Schneider, and Ernie Reyes Jr. Uh, I definitely gotta rewatch this one. I don't remember too much about it. Uh, I've seen this film a few times. This, this basically, this movie was basically made because of the success of Blair Witch Project. I think they came around about around at this near the same time, maybe a little bit after Blair Witch. But this is the uh, Saint Francisville experiment. It's uh, it's a very short film. It's only seventy nine minutes. Uh, it's from 1999-2000, uh, so about the same time. It's and it's, it has a lot of jump scares. It's found footage. It's okay. Uh, this is an old, old blockbuster rental. I bought it. I, I bought it secondhand. I don't remember where I bought it from because I've had it in my collection for years. Uh, got a pair of bootlegs here. Um, Disc loose. Yep. It's fine. I've already watched this one anyways. It was there. We have a new line of cinema of Stranded. Yeah, that was an okay movie. It's about an alien encounter. Uh, it says it's from the executive producers of Critters and Nightmare on Elm Street. It was okay. Um, another film from 1988. It was okay. I don't think I'll ever watch it again. Uh, and then I know this has a has an out of print Blu-ray and probably an out of print DVD as well. It's another bootleg. Uh, Neon Maniacs. Uh, I don't. I think I've I watched part of this movie, but I haven't watched the whole thing. I'm gonna go back and finish it. Uh, we have Housebound. That was a good flick. Uh, so you, if you think it's going to be a ghost film, you are incorrect. But still fun movie. Uh, we got a documentary here called Going to Pieces. This is about the rise and fall of the slasher film. Uh, definitely a good uh, little documentary here. It's not very long. It's only 88 minutes. But you get interviews in here. From John Carpenter, Wes Craven, Rob Zombie, Tom Sabini, etc., etc. Um, it's definitely a fun, uh, small documentary. Um, I can probably get rid of this release because this this release is garbage, and I do have it multiple times on different uh, multi-feature movies. Um, it is Funeral Home. The scan on this one is absolute garbage. So, if you ever come across this or anything, basically from CFS CFS releasing, don't get it. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen this one. This is from 1996, starring Donald Pleasance, Angus Scrum, Renee Quigley, and David Warbeck. This is. Uh, a Synapse Films release of 
Fatal Frames. I've seen this movie once. I don't remember most of it, so I'm gonna have to go back and watch it again. But it's over two hours long, so I'll have to find time for that. Uh, I remember it being okay. Not my favorite, but I'll love to give it a watch again. pre-ordered um, a region free blu-ray of and that is the after dark horror fest 4 uh, release of lake mungo this is a very fun uh, fun film about a girl who drowns in a in swimming in a local dam and the controversy around that and there's a lot of weird weird stuff that happens at the lake so if you guys have never seen this i recommend it got a Lamberto Bava film here that I really enjoyed. Now it's not in English, though it is in Italian, but it's still a fun movie nonetheless. It's called Macabre. Uh, it's definitely a what the F kind of, there's a lot of what the F moments in this movie for sure. Uh, This, the woman is comes uh, returns from a mental institution, determined to pursue her forbidden desires. Yeah, it's definitely a, a weird, bizarre film for sure. Uh, here's a fun movie, Repossessed, with uh, Linda Blair, Ned Beatty, and Leslie Nielsen. This is basically like a horror comedy version of The Exorcist. And it just shows Linda Blair's character growing up as a wife and mother. It's a, it's a fun movie. I definitely recommend it. Uh, here's another fun movie here. Uh, a a uh, movie uh, based on a story by R.L. Stein. It's called When Good Ghouls Go Bad. Starring uh, Christopher Lloyd. Uh, I've seen this movie once. It was fun. Just your, uh, your, basically it's like a comedy for kids with a little bit of horror into it. There's a good anthology that needs a Blu-ray release. The Willies. This is a fun movie. I definitely, definitely recommend this one. Uh, you got James Karen, Sean Astin, uh, Kathleen Freeman, Jeremy Miller. Uh, it's definitely fun. I definitely recommend that one. Uh, here's a here's a nice movie that I, I remember seeing this when it came out in uh, 1995, and it also has a wonderful soundtrack. Uh, this is in a Warner Archive release of Angus. Definitely recommend this one if you've never seen it. Uh, definitely brings back childhood memories for sure. Uh, you got George C. Scott, Chris Owen, Ariana Richards, and Anna Thompson, and Charlie Talbert, and Kathy Bates is in here as well. So, great cast, you guys. Uh, this one just got a 4K release from Vinegar Syndrome. I just have the original THX uh, DVD, The Beastmaster, here. I don't think I have part two or three. Uh, here's a four film collection. I've only seen two of the four movies, though. So we got Bloody Murder and Bloody Murder 2, which I've seen. Junior and Deadly Species I have not seen. But I remember when these two came out uh, at Blockbuster years ago. Especially the first one. The first one, I believe, is I think is better than the second one. It's just like another like Friday the 13th ripoff. Uh, instead of Jason Voorhees, it's uh, Trevor Morehouse. Uh, it's definitely... Uh, you know, silly spoof, kind of, but not really trying to be a spoof, but they're fun. Uh, next up, we have a film by Michelle, so I can't ever say the person's name, Michelle Sovi. 
Uh, it's a Dario Argento Presents film. It's a great film, though. It's called The Church. This was uh, from 1989, uh, featuring the score of Goblin, which is one of my favorite horror uh, bands. Uh, instrument, instrumental bands, but they're pretty good. Uh, this movie was was kind of weird to me. I so I watched. There's two. There's two films on here. The original, which is a special feature, and then the remake from 2015. The original one's from 1993. I. I didn't care for the remake. I haven't watched the original one yet. But it is called Demon Dolls. It says, And Satan shall rule the earth. And on the back it says, Sometimes you just shouldn't buy a clown doll. Which is true. I wouldn't. Uh, we have a babysitter slasher here. What is this like? Uh, kind of a slasher. But it is a film called uh, Emil. The babysitter is here. Uh, I've seen this once. I thought it was pretty, pretty decent. It's your old-fashioned suspense film. You know, never trust if you don't. If you think the babysitter is trustworthy, she's not. Uh, classic one here, Ernest Starts Scared Stupid. I know the Blu-ray is long out of print and very hard to find. I'm still looking for it for a good, good, good price. Not a ridiculous price, but I'll take the DVD for now. Next. Uh, let me shut this one off. Uh, my so-called life box set with everything inside. You get the booklet, you get all the discs. It's a, it's a fun little set. Very short-lived uh, TV series that was ahead of its time, but... And then Claire Danes. Love her. Uh, we got a 10-film set here. I haven't watched any of them yet. But it is the box set of Tales of Voodoo here. Uh, five disc set, so you get two two movies on each disc. Uh, it doesn't really list the movies on the case. You gotta open them up and look at them. But uh, I think they're all from like the seven seventies sixties. Uh, it doesn't say at least time wise. So let's see. Volume one has uh, Jungle Virgin Force. And Hellhole. Uh, disc 2 has uh, Ghost Ninja and uh, Primitives. Disc 3 has The Rapist and Devil's Express. Uh, disc 4 has Temple of Hell and Cannibal Curse. And Disc 5 has A Dog Called Vengeance and Scorpion Thunderbolt. Never seen any of them. Uh, here's a fun movie that I found at an FYE years ago that was like only a couple dollars. Uh, if you guys ever find this movie, I definitely recommend it either by itself and there's also I also have it on a multi feature set. Um, it's never gotten any kind of a uh, an upgraded Blu-ray or, or DVD release, rather. That's uh, called Little Cory Gory. This is... I think what year this is from. I, think, I want to say it was from like the early 2000s. But it, it, it's it got that old like 90s feel to it. Um, it's not safe to stay inside. Um, basically, this kid is like... Uh, uh, mentally tortured by his parents and his brothers so he basically gets revenge um, he also tries to get the attention of this girl and she doesn't want anything to do with him so he 
purchases tickets for an Ozzy concert and then she she wants to go and then it just kind of goes downhill from there. Um, his brother, his stepbrother um, steals the tickets and spends the evening with the girl at his place. Uh, and then, yeah, it just goes downhill from there. So I definitely recommend this one, guys, for sure. Uh, I haven't watched this one. Yeah, actually, I have watched this one. This one was weird. We got Hide and Go Shriek, another late 80s uh, slasher. It's a fun movie. We got another uh, Polly Shore film here, Casino Man. Fun stuff. We got uh, a cult horror cult classic here from 1980 called Effects, uh, starring Tom Savini, Joe Polito, and John Harrison. It says, making movies can be murder. Uh, people have been finding this at Dollar Tree, you know, waves constantly. It's a good movie though, I definitely recommend it. The Devil's Candy with, with the slipcover. I need to get that on Blu-ray though. Uh, so this film I can get rid of. I have the, the new Blu-ray that came out, but it is Dahmer here. I definitely recommend this, this particular, uh, movie about Jeffrey Dahmer. Jeremy Renner plays uh, Jeffrey Dahmer, and he, he is very spot on. Uh, this movie has been announced that it will be getting a Blu-ray soon. I haven't heard much about it since, though, but this is the Paramount uh, DVD release of Cool World starring Kim Basinger, Gab Gabriel Byrne, and Brad Pitt. I had fun with this movie, but it the name isn't really correct. Uh, called A Child Eater because uh, he doesn't really eat kids, he eats their eyeballs to because he's blind and he needs to see, so that's how he how he can see. Uh, yeah, fun movie, but you could change the name. We have Alien Dead. This movie was really bizarre. I don't know if I'll ever watch it again. Alien Abduction. This is a great uh, alien movie. I definitely recommend this one. We have Scream Season 1. Uh, and, you know, instead of ghost face, we all call it blow face because his face, his mask is way different than the, the film series. Uh, we have the complete series of the monsters, classic. Uh, we have the complete series of Hey Dude. Definitely brings back memories from my childhood. We've got the complete series of Chappelle Show, classic. I have a bootleg of Trick or Treats, still waiting on a, like I know it has a Blu-ray from Code Red, but it's long out of print. Uh, we got American Horror Story season one. We've got season two, Asylum, and season four, uh, Freak Show. One more stack, guys. We'll be done. Uh, this is a fun uh, anthology. Southbound. Definitely recommend it. Uh, Sleep No More. This is a fun movie. Uh, it's basically from the uh, creator of Final Destination. So I enjoyed it for what it was. killer baboon movie called Shakma, starring Christopher Atkins, Amanda Amanda West, Ryan McDowell, and Ari Myers. I recommend it. Uh, this is another anthology film here called Scare Waves. Uh, I remember not being too bad, but I gotta go back and watch it again. Uh, people have been finding this at Dollar Tree lately. Uh, pledges. 
uh, it was okay. I wouldn't go out and recommend it though, but it was okay. Uh, we got a film that needs a really needs a a Blu-ray release for sure. This is uh, this is also a bootleg that I bought at a convention a while back, as the Paper Boy, starring William Cat, Alexander Paul, and Mark Merritt. We have uh, Old Thirty Seven, starring Bill Mosley, uh, Kane Hodder, and Brandy Cyrus. Uh, again, it was okay. Not my favorite, but it was the story. I guess it was the story that I didn't care for a lot. But, you know, I love Kane and Bill, so I had to pick it up. All right. We have another uh, horror documentary called Nightmares in Red, White, and Blue. Another decent, uh, decent uh, blah, blah, documentary. Uh, narrated by Lance Hendrickson, so that's definitely uh, something to look forward to. We have, I know this particular case is totally messed up, but uh, it is the Nightmare Room. Uh, it's called, there's, there's more than one of these, but I picked it up because it's got the one kid from Malcolm in the Middle in it. Uh, what's his name? The kid that played Re uh, his his older brother Reese. Uh, I can probably retire this DVD now that I have the Blu-ray. Night School. Uh, we got the remake of the Toolbox Murders. Uh, I definitely like this one. I haven't watched the original one yet. And then we got Mockingbird. Uh, from Brian Bertino, who did The Strangers. This movie is okay. It's not my favorite. Uh, we got a werewolf film called Bone Hill Road. Another Wild Eye releasing film. Not bad. Not my favorite, but not bad. Uh, this has uh, Linnea Quigley in it. So she was my selling point. And I, I actually like Todd Sheets films, so. We have Horror High. I don't remember this one too much, so I'll have to go back and watch it again. Uh, we got, I think I have this on Blu-ray, so I'm gonna probably get rid of it now. The MIB Trilogy on DVD. Maniac Cop 1, classic. Uh, I think I have part 2 somewhere. This is part 3. Uh, the Mangler 3, or 2, I'm sorry. I heard it was bad, but Lance, Lance Hendrickson's in it, so I figured I'd give it a watch. And then, I think I, do I have this? I think I have this on, on Blu-ray now. This is the original Lift. This is a, yeah, this is a bootleg copy. I can probably get rid of that one now. Uh, we got another found footage type movie, Lavender Tapes. Not bad. Uh, Joyride Trilogy. We got House at the Edge of the Park. Uh, it's kind of, it's definitely one of those films that um, we have to warn you about, about the, it's like really heavy on rape and um, or the revenge after that, so it's kind of like house, last house on the left almost. It, it's all right. And then we got All Hallows Eve two on DVD with the embossed, nice embossed slipcover. So that is everything in this box for today. Um, I'll probably make a video either later tonight or tomorrow because I'm going out later today to do some uh, thrifting. So. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, comment, leave comments down below if you are interested in anything here. Um, and I look forward to hearing from you guys. So, as always, stay safe, have fun, never stop thrifting, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.